saw the boat come by first, and we took the first chance we could get out of there. Just getting started after days of relentless rain in South Texas, Tropical Storm Harvey is not letting up. This has the potential, from what I'm hearing, to be the worst natural disaster that has ever befallen the state of Texas. And while first responders and fellow citizens work around the clock to rescue and evacuate South Texans. We've probably done like 30 or 40 by ourselves only. Their neighbors to the north are pitching in any way they can. We're getting ready to be the neighbors and the friends of South Texans that we know we can be. Live from Dallas and Fort Worth, this is CBS 11 News at 4. The ones for Texas. Historic, unprecedented, and never before seen. These are all phrases that are being used to describe the flooding in Houston this afternoon. All of this after Tropical Storm Harvey dumped more than two feet of rain on Texas' biggest city. Thanks for joining us at 4 o'clock, everyone. I'm Ken Molestina. And I'm Kaylee O'Kelly in for Gilma Avalos. We know many of you have been keeping a close eye on the coverage all weekend, and here is a look at the newest information. Eight people have now died in Harvey's path, including the heartbreaking story of a family of six whose van was swept away as they tried to leave. Governor Greg Abbott has activated the entire Texas National Guard, meaning 12,000 people are now being called to help in all. The city of Houston says its 911 system has processed more than 75,000 calls since Harvey moved in. And a total of 18 counties here in Texas now qualify for federal help. The CBS 11 team is spread across the state of Texas to bring you the newest information coming out of Tropical Storm Harvey. Our Jason Allen and Jeff Paul are in Houston bringing us just incredible stories out of that area. And hundreds of Houstonians are now in the DFW area. We are live as the city of Dallas preps a mega shelter in time for thousands more tomorrow. At Dallas Love Field, hundreds of people airlifted from Galveston are expected to land at any moment. Plus, the Texas weather experts are tracking Harvey. Their newest predictions on just how much more rain will fall across South Texas and what that means for the Metroplex. We start with Jeff Paul now, though, with the latest on water releases. Yeah, Kaylee, where we are standing right now, this is a major road leading into a pretty big neighborhood back there in the Attics area of Houston. And as you take a look, there is not much to see of that road. It looks like it just ends off, but I, I, I promise you that is a road going back in there. Several residents have pulled up here asking us, you know, what's going on, why they can't get back there. And we just kind of point that way and show them all the rain that's all. Now, the other thing that's happening out here is to take a look over here. Uh, this is again the Attic's Reservoir over here leading into it and the Army Corps of Engineers right now releasing water to hopefully take off some uh, pressure from the levees and the dams. Now in the areas that we are seeing water rescues happening, uh, they are happening from some not so official and official sources out there. In one neighborhood we saw uh, some folks out on jet skis, on inner tubes, on boats, using anything they can. Even saw one guy out there. Uh, using an old retired army rig big truck to get some folks out and get them to safety. You know, it's very sad. It's like you see people like that in the street without uh, uh, roof. Shelters are full, hospitals yeah. are full. Yeah, it's very, very sad. But thank God, God gave us the opportunity to help people, and uh, we appreciate that. Now, in the southeastern part of that neighborhood that we were in, in the southeastern part of Houston, we are seeing some areas starting to uh, recede a little bit with those floodwaters. In fact, that area we just spoke with that gentleman, we saw the water drop within just about a half hour out there, uh, about an inch or so, a few inches or so. So that was pretty great to see. But as we tried to travel south, southeast to Dickinson, uh, those roads were completely covered up. My colleague Jason Allen, he has been talking with some folks who had to leave their homes but earned hotels, and those are coming, become, becoming sort of mini communities. Jason. Yeah, they really have, uh, Jeff, and people are still leaving this neighborhood tonight uh, with whatever they can carry. In fact, I'm going to have, since this is happening right now, I'm going to have Jake go back and show you one of the canoes. Uh, and this is not somebody who lives here. This is somebody who came here with a canoe to get more people out because just in the last couple hours, there were more people who decided it just was not safe to stay. So people have stayed here as long as they possibly can. And once they get out, they are continuing to stay together, not sure when they are going to get back in. My house is flooding. It's crazy. In Houston's Briar Forest neighborhood, flooding is always a possibility. But this was just too much to risk. It was scary. It was scary. 
I didn't get all my stuff, and then my mom and dad, they went to go get back my stuff. It was really scary. I only got what I could bring. After waiting out, or paddling out, several dozen families found themselves all reuniting at a nearby hotel. It was really just them and their pets, and the anxiety of not knowing what they are going to do next. Um, it's been really, really awful watching our friends and neighbors and families um, lose everything and help them evacuate. So it's, um, it's really scary. It's the uncertainty of not knowing. They hadn't slept much, wondering what it looked like back home. Pictures that showed them sometimes started to bring tears. They poured over maps with us, asking if we'd found any clear way they might get back in. But even with relatively nothing, they were grateful to be here at all. I had a friend who brought me th this shirt last night, so, and a few other things. She's lovely. So, we're good that we have each other, right? So we have watched the water level as we have been out here this morning. We put markers down where it was when we got here. The first one's buried back there. I think this is the second or third one. There's another one buried up here, and you can see uh, the edge of it now and how far it has progressed. This is probably within the last four hours. So the rain, the heavy rain, continues to fall, and the water here continues to go up. Live in Houston, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. All right, Jason, thank you.